we can we can write this down. Psalm eighty, Psalm ninety one verse. In verse 7. Psalm 91, it, the Bible said, For he has given his angels charge of us. Verse 11, sorry, verse 11. Verse 11, write down Psalm 28, 2 and 5. Matthew 28, verse 2 and verse 5. Psalm 37, verse 7. Hebrew 114. Let's read Hebrew 114. Write down Matthew 18, verse 10. Let's read Hebrew 1. The Bible says concerning the angel. Let's take it from verse 13. It's about to which of the angels say they at any time sit on my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool. No, no one. I did not, angels, I did not all ministry spirit sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation. The angels are sent forth to do what? To minister for us who are heirs of salvation. Praise the Lord. So they are ministry spirit and they minister for us. Amen? In Matthew 18, 10, let's read that. The Bible said, Jesus talking, he said they are angels there are angels. We don't know how many angels that, that the child of God has, but every child of God has a guiding angel. Praise the Lord. And every ministry has guiding angels. And every minister has guiding angels. Praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. So as I'm preaching now, my angel is probably standing here yes. or there or in that corner. Praise the Lord. So, and uh, there are angels. So, as far as he's a church of God, there is an angel. Praise the Lord. There are angels. We don't know how many. Praise the Lord. He said, Take heed that you despise not one of this little one. For I say unto you that in heaven there are angels. There are angels. Do always behold the face of my Father, which is in heaven. Praise the Lord. Specifying that. The, the little ones have angels. And they're referring to every child of God. Amen? Amen. They minister for us. Amen. They bring messages to us. Amen? Amen. They intervene on our behalf. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's thank God for his work. And let's ask God to keep this truth in, our, in the imagination of our heart forever. Let's thank God for his angels he has given charge over us to keep us in all our ways. Let's thank him that his angels are bearing us up in their hands. Let's thank him that his angels bring us messages, heavenly vision, the plan and the purpose of God, the counsel of God, the angels reveal them in the name of Jesus. Let's thank God for his holy angels he has given charge over us. And let's, let's receive the angel of the Lord. Let's Let's acknowledge the angels of the Lord. Let's thank God for the angels of the Lord that are ministering for us as of salvation. And Lord, we want more angelic activity. We want more angelic activity in our lives. We want more angelic activity. We don't seek angel, but we believe God for angels, angelic intervention. We believe God. We trust God. But I will thank you for your mercy over us, for loving us. For sending your son to die for us, for giving us your spirit. And we thank you for your holy angels you've given charge over us to keep us in all our ways. Father, we thank you for your angels that are bearing us up in their hands that we shall not dash our foot against the stone. Father, we thank you for your angels that brings us message in our dreams, that helps us and assists us on our way. Father, we thank you for the ministry of the angel. We receive, we accept, we welcome the ministry of the angel. We appreciate the ministry of the angels. Father, we thank you for all the angelic assistance, for all the angelic intervention, all the angelic revelation, for all the angelic messages. Father, we accept it. We receive it. We accept it. We receive it. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. Now, sometimes when you hear a voice, mm. external voice, sometimes it's angel yeah. speaking to you. Praise the Lord. God, the Spirit of God speaks from within us because it's inside us. He speaks to our spirit, and our spirit communicates to our conscience and mind. 
But the angel, uh, the Lord can speak from here. And also, devils also speak from outside. Praise the Lord. But the angel of the Lord can speak. You hear a voice. Who is that? You know, it could be an angel of the Lord. Amen? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So, and we, we pay attention. And when we hear a word from outside, we always judge them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We don't just swallow them. We what? We judge them. By the nature of God and by the scripture. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So, Father, we thank you. We return the glory to you. Amen. We thank you. Even as we have spoken concerning angels, let there be manifestations of angelic visitation, Amen. angelic intervention this week. Even as we go out. Father, Amen. even the thing that we are seeking you for, we ask, oh God, cause all your angels to bring us Amen. messages, directions, instructions in our dreams, in our visions, Amen. as you choose. Not our way, but your way. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And I release your people into your hand. I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, Amen. which is able to build you up and give you your inheritance among them that are sanctified. Amen. And I declare may the Lord continue to bless you and keep you. May the Lord continue to shine his face on you and be gracious to you. May the Lord continue to lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you peace always by all means. May the Lord continue to cause you to stand perfect and complete in all the will of God. And may the, may God, may the God of peace sanctify you whole. May your spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless Amen. until the coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. Faithful is he who has called us, who also will do it. Amen. May the Lord continue to direct your heart into love and patience Amen. as we wait for the return of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I declare you blessed. And I release angelic visitation and manifestation in your life. Amen. I activate your angels. Amen. I activate the angels of, of this mission Amen. for more manifestations in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. If you are watching me and if you have not made Jesus your Lord, this is an opportunity for you to do the same. For if you are not a child of God, you cannot enjoy the benefit of the child of God. So if you want to make Jesus your Lord, say after me, precious Jesus, I believe that you died for my sins. You were buried, you rose again. So I ask you to wash me with your blood. I repent of my sins and I ask you to be my Lord and Savior. Write my name in the Lamb Book of Life and fill me with your spirit. I receive you, Lord, as my personal Lord and Savior. Thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And Father, I pray, commit this heart. Everyone that has prayed that prayer sincerely from their heart unto you, Lord, that you confirm their salvation. I pray that they be received and accepted by you. And I pray that Satan's power be broken up by their lives. And I pray that they be led by your spirit and into the place you need them to be. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Show yourself strong in their lives. Yes, I give you all the glory. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray with us.